We now return to Everyone Wants to Expand. So I'm going to lower this down to one, and we're just going to go and have a huge expansion spree in Coal Town. Which I'm sure is going to be fascinating to watch. But... Apparently it's something that I've managed to do pretty quickly, actually. The entire town wants to expand. More people want to move in here. And this is really, I guess, you know, we're going to use Coal Town as kind of the, uh, kind of the vanilla town. This is going to be an example, or a showcasing even, of what it'd be like if you only had the old pre-Cities of Tomorrow expansion, uh, one block of city to build. This aggravates me. Why is this happening when the... I guess because we need to make this high density. If we make the outsides high density, I feel like that's going to pull traffic to the outer roads. Because right now everyone's trying to leave and get out of town. Uh, we have no more jobs down here, so we need to focus now more on balancing to get those medium wealth jobs, because there's medium wealth jobs uh, thanks to the buildup of this stuff that are going unfulfilled, although that could end shortly here. Oh, these are all these are all low wealth still. Okay. Well, in that case, uh, what I could do is, as I had mentioned, let's go ahead and put in a baseball field and let's get this started. Not enough simoleons. That is a pricey, pricey damn field. Okay. Uh, I can also put in a little bit of a park area, which is something I want to do too. Um, so, because there are no jobs, that's where they're all going. They are going out into the region, uh, for which, actually, there's probably a pretty decent demand for them. Um, I don't know where they're going exactly, but if we were able to follow them, I'm sure they would be going to one of my towns, possibly Gazconda or the like, uh, where we've built up the wealth too high, too quickly, and they're just unable to uh, find work. Now, this bothers me, so I'm going to go ahead and delete that and hope that we can squeeze in an actual building there. Apparently not. We still have an upgrade available here. I could finish off... what? Oh, we have another upgrade. Okay, it was just upgrading the town hall, but we have another module. We have two modules now that we can actually put in there. In this situation, we could just do safety and utilities, which are the basics. I want to hold off on tourism, but if we add a tourism now, then we also open that up for all my other cities, and I don't have to wait until I get over there to my tourism city. So why don't we just go ahead and do that? And we'll go ahead and not do anything else, because that actually costs me money. And this is going to... It's going to be funky when that builds up, but what you going to do? Pleasantly, everything else here is, uh, is very much held down. As we do have some demand, I think we'll go ahead and say... And I could put a little thing in here. up. That's built up, and because of its squareness and actually very fortunate shape in that corner, I can now put a strip of something there. Or tiny businesses can build up in there, that's fine too. Yes, our densities are very much going through the roof in this town. Uh, we have a ton of unemployed people and they are all transitioning out of town. Couldn't get to a fire before it burned down. Six out of seven fires. We're still very hurting here. 
I hate constantly spending the money I'm trying to save up to build other things, but it's coming in quickly enough that we are okay, I feel. Education levels will never sustain themselves. We just have too much and we just can't build, build enough. But, uh, where was I? I was actually working my way at... Hold on. I'm just going to do this real quick before I even forget what's going on here. Or we can set it to that. I was going to increase densities all along here. People are coming to work on this street. This is a main thoroughfare, so we will definitely add that up. So it does its thing. And we will now do this in this quadrant and get pretty big industry going. Oh my god, we need even more sewage output. So where could we put this if I needed to put it somewhere? We could put it right here, in fact. Not enough simoleons. I need to come up with 64,000 simoleons. I need to come up with any simoleons, to be honest. Those are almost all paid off, so we're probably going to do that. Wait on those things pay them off, and then use that money to build up sewage. The town is... I feel... man, I don't know. I wanted one city to be taking care of everything, but the way we're building these towns up... I could have left this a little bit of a town, you know. Just little... little areas like that. In little homes, rather than putting in medium density, just keep it all low density. But, uh, I'm aware of the problem. So we'll do that. Grab ourselves a 50. I think this is going to be hard to overcome. Grab that. Use it to pay off this one. And just continue using our credit cards to pay off the other credit cards. And now we've got some money here. And it's fine. So, now we can put down a real sewage treatment plant. Right where it belongs. We will get rid of these terrible polluters he said, right next to the coal plant. And whilst we've got some money to burn, we'll just go ahead and take care of this. I could put this here and then I'd be able to put parks along this side, but... And we'll just go ahead and fill it out. And we're done. Okay. Let's put a park in if we can, too. Maybe a little hopscotch. This is, after all, an elementary school, so maybe, maybe a playground. Right there. Actually, the playground with the rides might have worked out all right. At least this one kind of looks symmetrical because of these terrible buildings on the side. But anyway. So we're doing okay there. It's just now we've got this massive demand for medium wealth. Something we're going to have to come up with very soon. God damn it. Now we need water. Is there, let's just buy water. Let's just buy water from, say, Gastown, because everyone else is, so why not us too, right? Right. We're only using five kilogals. That's perfectly acceptable. Well, let's come on back in. I mean, we're right here at the shoreline. But whatever, right? Right. Everyone's building up. We've got another uh, medium strip that can come in here. Medium, 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 medium. Alright, we'll just keep that kind of as is for a moment. And then let's deal with this park. Because we want to start building up in here. So put this right there. And then we'll look at nature. And we'll maybe drag a strip of tall trees here. And then what? long one. Actually, we could maybe put smaller ones over here, but we'll look what that's done. Good things. Okay. That is helping this neighborhood considerably, which is good. I could put similar strips along the back there. Yes, we're not going to get that just yet. Uh... Oh, hey, already. 
So I have yet to decide what I want to do with that space. We now actually also have high wealth. So if I knock out, say maybe that, I could get a little bit of high wealth in the back here too. Just maybe a little bit. If I put strips of plaza or something in the back, that might go there. Put a park, might have a radius here, which keeps these into uh, medium densities, or me uh, medium wealth, I should say. Because now we've kind of kicked it around so that we're hurting once once again. Um, as far as getting my tech level up, everyone, everyone just wants to build up in density. Fine, I guess we'll become a medium density town. More density means more problems anyway, right? And more money. Which solves problems. This is where all my jobs are coming from. <laughs> because I've just built up the mega factories. So obviously we got to get these guys going. Um, they are ready. I did kind of want to keep these lower density back here. Just so they actually had houses. But, uh, well, we're kind of beyond that point now anyway. So let's just finish off the rest of the town in medium density. And actually, I've got enough money that maybe I should be taking these outsides and putting them at high. And that will hopefully siphon traffic out along the main thoroughfares. And they will avoid using all the medium density on the inside. Blazing through a ton of money here. Alright. Well, that does not seem to be the case. I was hoping they'd all kind of poke out here more. Although, yes, okay, they are they are taking the higher densities to alleviate that. That was good. Okay. Um, back to getting mediums in here. Coal town has quickly become a uh, coal city. <laughs> I mean, good grief. I could probably squeeze people into the densities in such a way that... Uh, I mean, this is, this is definitely... Definitely something I can take advantage of here. We have now a chance, I suppose, at getting an Omega factory in here and franchising the shit out of this. And we can utilize that. They're going to have to import, so we need to import coal and ore. So let's come over here. Let's turn that off for a moment. Because I'm going to need to have separate trucks for each of these, and then we're going to do an oil thing. And we're going to do a coal thing. Uh, I have not the ability to increase beyond this. Do I have the chance to get a road back here? I probably do, and then maybe I could put something else there. So let's squeeze over. Put oil and ore. And now that is maxed out there, and I can only use my oil and my ore locally to feed the Omega Co., which would be good. Omega Co. has spread to Coal Town. That'll start franchising this. And I uh, will actually begin futurifying it, which was something I said I didn't want to do. Um, but we'll do it anyway, because it makes a lot of money, and... Uh, actually, that... I did say the whole purpose of this was not to do that, right? I did because I wanted to uh, show this as a non-future city. I just got excited. An expensive mistake. 64, 30. Okay, not too bad. Uh, this we can actually go in here and delete some of these. Alright, well, you know. I got greedy, I admit. We can go ahead and keep all those freight trucks. I'm sure that'll be 
just fine. Yeah, we'll just keep it as is. I was getting greedy. But that's the next step. And that's just how easy it is to make this its own thing. Although we already have destroyed the spirit of the city by upgrading densities by now making this just a compacted hive of workers. Um, one thing I do want to do, so we can start raising tech levels though, which might be better, and it's not there at all, is the, uh, the community, community, community college. Here we go, and this will allow me to start putting in uh, a little bit more stuff. So we'll put the community college this way, let's say. And there we go. It's really only benefiting these guys, but as far as education is concerned, that's pushing it out further. I guess I can put a library right behind the clinic? Nope. Uh, really nowhere. Um, I guess I could put it here. Actually, it would fit here, because this, if I do, in fact, put in a building, I can put the education department over there, and then I can put this attached back here. So we can put a library right there. And it looks like I do, in fact, have still another attachment. See, I didn't necessarily want this town to become a simmering hellhole industrial town. It was really uh, designed to be something more like, uh, if I can get these to be techie buildings. See, this is exactly what I did not want to have happen. But I suppose it was inevitable. So now we'll just get one on this end, which I think is okay too. And as far as you are concerned, we will just do that. Did that, did that not take? Nope, that kills it. Okay, so that one's going to have to go out, and then I can do this. Bizarre. An arsonist threatens homes. Well, that's all medium wealth, too. Uh, should I just make it worse? By putting in a strip there? I mean, I could just come in with nature and community parks. Oh, I didn't. Did I have those unlocked before? I don't know that I had these unlocked before. That'd definitely help. No, oh, that's too small for that to work. Okay. Uh, in that case, what are we looking at here? We are looking at, we need tons more of the low wealth. I built too much wealth, I guess. Unless we are waiting for these guys to build in, fill in, and then we can get... Um, see, how did that happen? I guess just because it's filtering over. So you're in that area too. But I think a big problem... We have unsatisfied needs for low wealth, which means we have uh, some commercial... That I suppose if we put it over here, kind of out of range, we need we need abilities for the low income to go and shop. People are dying. It's horrible. There. We just weren't getting there in time. Awesome. Well, you know, this town is actually moving along a lot better uh, than I had actually expected. I think this is a guide, if you will, to how to make a functional city quite easily and quickly. Really, though, and I, I, I want to say it's actually due to this grid, this little grid pattern. I don't know, I mean, it really, because you're adding extra pixels with those roads in between everywhere, you really wouldn't think that it's actually increasing... Um, the effectiveness or the, the, the efficiency of where you're putting your buildings. But I almost think that because it is spacing it more evenly, because that square pattern is basically the size of one building, one of your big buildings, um, I think it actually does...
put the densities in properly and uh, everything fits. I mean, if you actually look at it, it looks like there's dead space. Here there is, but for the most part, there's really no dead space in these plots. I could maybe put a strip of uh, nature here if I wanted, but for the most part, it all fits. I don't know, I feel like this layout in particular just works. I mean, my god, I'm making 5,000 simoleons here. We're still well in excess of the power that I need. We still need more. This is going to be a weird one. I guess I could put a big chunk of it here. This uh, this chart in particular over here, kind of interesting. So I guess we need a little bit more, but I'm afraid that's going to create more medium wealth. I'm really looking more for... We need jobs is, is what it is. We still have not increased tech level to any any kind of acceptable level. 520 students, okay. We should maybe put down a thing so we at least know where we're at. Um, we could also probably put down high school, actually. That is an education level that I have thus far skipped. High school. We could put the high school here. Seems how we, I mean, alternatively, I can just find a, a spot in town here where, let's just go ahead and put it over here. Yeah, let's put it here. And we'll put in one of these. The usuals. Now this allows me to put in a gym in the back and build couple side spots. So I can build one gymnasium, which does what? Raises medium and medium wealth, okay. Boosts tourist attraction in the city. I guess because of the games. Um, which is a very real phenomenon, actually. Uh, sports, school sports. Okay. Well, we are enrolling everybody who lives here, which is good. So, hopefully, this education level will actually, it seems to be doing such. Good. That is that is actually what the goal of this was all about. Um, as far as this is concerned, we're just making dirty coal, but... Uh, what was the clean coal thing? Oh, right. If we unlock it via a university... We're going to have to get to eventually somehow, but uh, then we can make clean coal. And we're making plenty, perhaps too much, but again, not so much that it's really hurting me too bad. Uh, we can raise taxes a little bit. Why not? In fact, uh, industry can pay a little bit more too. sick out here, but it's doing alright. It's actually doing more than okay. It's it's pretty pretty excessively <laughs> pretty excessively doing well. Um, I could put my own water pumping station down here since I don't seem to have anything for that. Uh, that trade. Let's find out what it's going to take to do this. We need a trade HQ in the region. Right, so we can go towards coal. In order to get a coal HQ, which is... does not exist? Oh, it's gotta be a metals, metals HQ. So, I can put one of these... We're halfway there on this, but I get to basically put one of these in. Engineering division at a metals HQ. Well, we could really go to Mineral Town, then, for that. 
But, uh, yeah, you know, I'm actually kind of pleased with how this is going. I wish these would increase their densities. We have upgraded their roads. There's just apparently not enough need. There's not enough people coming in. In fact, there's just so much unemployment here. Or, no, actually there's not. There's tons of jobs here now. Because these all built up to their bigger densities, now these need to be upgrading to high density to balance it out. So you'd think that that would kind of cram more people in here, which is bizarre. And we do need more medium wealths anyway, so why don't we go ahead and just plunk down more people in here, rather than use that for commercial things. How we seem to have uh, taken care of that. We, well, maybe not. We've got unsatisfied, unsatisfied needs still for that level of shopping. does build up quite quickly right away. I don't know. Can we can we not build that one in? Cuz clearly whatever's going on here is not enough to attach that to anything. The clinic is probably overwhelmed once again. Yes it is. So I will lower the speed and get this up in here. And we'll probably need another ambulance. So there you go. Well, Good. I mean, I guess the purpose of Coal Town has been fulfilled in that I wanted to make yet another town uh, capable of A, selling power, and B, uh, giving money, which it can do. It's got quite the income, and this seems to have worked, which is pretty good, except that they're not fully doing that, but, you know. The major densities that we have created, I can put more strips in here, like I could put a strip of high density, strip of high density, and maybe make this all high density, and then just create kind of avenues. I wish the game had the capability uh, for uh, one ways. I feel like that would be good. Actually, if we're going to start facing a lot of commuting, let's talk about trains. That is not at all in this. this. Let's talk about trains, because I could definitely put one in. Apparently not here, though. Um, so if I maybe extend the rail to the edge of the thing here, could I get it in? I totally can. I'll just do it now. Now, I don't know what that actually does for me, because... Uh, close to an existing intersection. But... But... Hold on. Abandoned buildings. Where? No! God! Okay. Um... So this... Maybe if I just take a section of this out or so. And then play that. God, that looks horrible. So what if we take a medium, take a medium up to here. How about, how about we bend it? That actually I think is probably high density. And then we take this. Too close to an existing intersection. Take that, and then that. Too close to an existing intersection. Oh my god. I... It, it's meant to be a part of the intersection. What the fuck? Is it because... It can't? It's gotta be some weird ass... Well, I can't have it do that, because it needs to have a... It needs to be this this level of density so that I can can get in a, uh, a tram. So we'll do that with it. Kill this. Give it a high density street, and we'll center it in like that. There, that solves the problem. 
Okay, well, we have a train station to nowhere because we have no other train station here. Um, I don't know why I put in a crossing like that, but it did. Uh, so we could just have it go right over to here, but I'm not sure where they're all going as far as jobs. Um, of course, they're all going to Omega City 1 because why wouldn't they? That's where all the jobs are, clearly. It is 8 a.m. People are coming in. I should be clicking on the people. Actually, it's all people coming in. How is that possible? Where are they all coming from? They're all coming in and going to homes. Is this the night shift in Omega City 1? All those poor suckers that have to live way out there? I don't know. Could be. Anyway, um, well, we'll find out if this actually does anything. Nobody comes here because, as I say, there's nowhere for them to go. There is no other train station. But, ooh, most advanced box and crate storage technology. So some of them, at least, are working that way. We need somewhere to ship our freight. So, shipping freight out. If I built a separate freight, because it's got it in here, though. I don't get to do anything with that, though. So, what it complains about then does that mean we need somewhere to ship our freight so that means that there needs to be better technological businesses that they sell it to is that how that works because I don't have the option if I added another freight I don't think I'd have the option of selling it out of here I don't think I'd have that option I don't think that's how this works from local industry. Industry that doesn't have a place to ship its freight may go out of business. Okay, well we've already got one. I mean, I guess I'll put it down just to see. It takes more freight, so maybe that's what it's talking about. We'll see if it actually fills in. It does. So we're just making so much freight here. And now, we are full we are full. I can make a recycling center in this town. Something that uh, I don't believe I've done in any town. We'll go ahead and put in one of those, and then I guess we will continue to put in more uh, more of these. I can't, of course, build there. Of course I couldn't build there. Well, okay. I don't know how far I wanted the piles to go. I mean, I could drag maybe this around and then get it to come down here and start building along that side kind of push them all together rather than go down the hill with trash. That might be a thing. Um, and I guess I could put the recycling center right across the street. I don't know. This is now a lot of dead space up here and I don't know what I can do to improve upon it. Um, but anyway, so far a very highly successful little town in my opinion. A uh, population of 22,000 crammed into apartments and uh, really it's become... this is kind of becoming if I had just kept it dirty, dirty coal town, um, I think it might be a little bit more appropriate that it's all tenements and whatnot. As it is, we do still have lots of low wealth, but they've all got jobs requiring that. So maybe then, in that case, I need to be focused on getting land values up so that we are feeding all the people. I don't know. I, the balancing mechanics of that are a little bit sketchy because you have too many and then you bork it. And then where they go. We do have a little bit more expansion room over here. We can still put in some commercial or whatever to kind of buffer. And uh, that will fulfill a few needs. Only a few. What is the education crisis now? Business is okay, but they do not have the education to maintain this. Is that what it's saying? I guess we're full on, I don't know, out of 500. They're teaching 270 out of 500, so there's still plenty that can go in there. And this is almost full, so maybe we'll add more to the... Uh, we're totally full up on here. See, that's the thing, too. I don't know what the levels are, because there's students and there's not students, basically. So, unlike, say, City Skylines, which breaks everything down by age groups, I don't know that I can really affect... You know, putting more grade schools, is that actually necessary, or... I guess I don't know. I think it just generally takes students, and then they go. Um, 
there's no what their population demographic there is, but see there's students. It's, it doesn't tell me that it's the aged or the retired or children or anything of that sort. So I don't know. There are a few visitors in town. Mostly mostly freight companies. Going for an interview for a new job from Gazconda. Interesting. From Gazconda. These must be all the low wealths then coming for jobs here. Very cool. See, I mean, there is actually depth to the game, but it's very obscure. It's very obtuse to get down to it, and then, you know, what does it do for you? Um, but yes, these futuristic travelers coming from Gazconda. That's kind of cool. I'm going to have to come down maybe one episode. Uh, we'll do just kind of a a get in depth fly through of all of the towns and just kind of see, um, just kind of get a feel for actually what it's like to live in some of these towns. Because uh, from the top up view, top down view, um, you know, it's all just grids and whatnot. But actually, it's, it's kind of interesting to get down in here. People are giants, though. The proportions between the people and the buildings and all that. I mean, look at this woman. She's like. She's taller than the dumpster by a lot, and she'd probably hit her head on the door jam going in. Uh, like, these people are like eight feet tall. You know? I mean, I suppose you make them any smaller, and then you really can't add details. From a, from a modeling and game design perspective, I understand that maybe. See, now this door is enormous compared to some of the other doors. Oh, whatever. Anyway. I think uh, it's time to end this episode, so I'll see you next time.